Uh, folks, we made it to hump day. So excited. Welcome to Houston Life on this Wednesday, March 13th. I'm Derek Shore. As you can see today, Courtney is out, but the lovely Christine Noel is filling in. Oh, thanks so much for having me. I'm Welcome. so excited to be here. Um, okay, you hit the ground running when you arrived in Houston. Went to work right away. Yep. And today you're doing our show, Houston Life, and then you're anchoring the four, five, the six, the ten. Carry the one. Yes. Do yeah. That. Yes. So much. You know, and it's it's been awesome though. I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that TV people are kind of like triggered like that, where you we just hit the ground running, and if we're sitting around, we're like, what do you what do you want me what, to do? Right. You and know? especially so. in a new city, I feel like a TV job is such a great yeah. way to get to know the city and get to meet people. So how has it been for you so far? It's been great. You know, my very first day on the job. Normally, you know, we start at a new job and you go through paperwork. You start to meet everybody. Yeah, there really wasn't any of that my first day. No was, paperwork here. Uh, yeah, no, out at Houston Rodeo, you know? Yeah, that's and right. It wasn't my first rodeo, but it was my first Houston Rodeo. Bigger and than that, big, right? Oh, huge. It's amazing. You can ride ponies. <laughs> I know, I've never right? seen such a thing. So it's really been fun. And then ever since then, it's just been boom, boom, boom. The the midday shows and the 4 p.m. And Dominique is off this week, so I'm filling in for her. And I'm, I'm just happy as a clam. You know, a lot of people are saying here, it feels like you have been here forever. Oh, thank you. No, it really does. And thank watching you. you anchor these newscasts, it seems like such a natural fit. Does it feel like you've been here forever? It kind of does, yes. Yeah? Don't ask my hair the same thing, you know, it's like, where are we? Climate's a little different. Yeah, no, the climate's different, and I would love to see some sunshine coming from Denver. But as far as the people here, I mean, it feels like a family. The camaraderie is great, and everyone's been so welcoming, and I'm serious. There's Sometimes it's not always the case, you know, so I feel very lucky to have landed upon people such as yourself, Terry. Oh, well, Channel 2 is full of nice <laughs> yes. people. You don't just mean me. Uh, well, and also, I just got a news alert, by the way, that Denver is experiencing very heavy sh heavy snow right now. Bomb cyclone is what they're, like, that's a, apparently a meteorological term that they're using, and I've never heard of a bomb cyclone A bomb before. cyclone? Oh, yeah, dear. I think it has something to do with the wind and the snow and the rain mix. I don't know. It's a hot mess, so I'm even happier to be here good today. Good news is you're not in Denver yes. anymore. <laughs> we're glad to have you here. And I was out there uh, your first day at the rodeo, and we're going to go again together this yes, weekend. Yes, we are. I can't wait yes. for that. But we also were there last night, and uh, we were invited to go to the VIP Champions oh, Club, you which was very glamorous. And what's cool about it is they have all the food you can eat, they have all the drinks you want to drink. There's a little make your own s'mores bar. And so you can kind of like escape the crowd of the rodeo. It's right there in NRG, in the arena, yeah. essentially, in NRG Center. And um, you can, um, or in the, in the stadium rather, and you can just hang out and then go to the wine garden. As I we love did. that. It was so much fun. And I then pose for pictures with strangers. <laughs> there you go. Yes, after, after the little s'more all you can eat, I would have been like, okay, you can roll me out of here. <laughs> they were, it was a lot of fun, and yeah. we were out. I mean, we were there until, I think, after midnight. But at home, I, I couldn't fall asleep last night because I have been reading about this college admissions scam. Unreal. And I've been obsessed with this story. Mm -hmm. UCLA, you know, is where I went to school. Sure. And, uh, of course, they're saying that these colleges had no idea what was going on behind the scenes. But a lot of people are talking about this and feeling burned themselves, right? Because college is such a big deal. Well, yeah. I mean, ever since you feel like you enter kindergarten, it's like, you know, your parents are thinking about, okay, they're set, they're setting, hopefully setting aside money for college or thinking about it. They get you into sports early. They get you into extracurriculars. I think all with the eventual goal that you're going to go to and get into a good college. Yeah. And the key word here is that you work for it. You know, so when you hear about a story like this, it's really disheartening. And I'm sure upsetting to a lot of folks. Totally. Well, I when I went to UCLA, I actually had to apply twice because I didn't get in. I mean, everybody knows college admissions, it's very, very com competitive. And Absolutely. I think the story just underscores the pressure that's felt, not necessarily by students, but also yeah. parents. And I can't help but wonder, was maybe some of the motivation that parents don't want their kids to like go to community college because they're ashamed of that? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like I, the I'm pressure sure. even on parents is so great. Yeah, it really is. You know, and I was, there was a few colleges that I didn't get into. You know, I wanted to run track at a few schools and they said no. You know, I, I kind of feel like it was good that I got a little burned early on because you know that life is not always going to be handed to That's you. That's how, yeah, exactly. You know, so yeah. there's definitely a bigger conversation that is connected to this college admissions. School. For sure. But as, I mean, you know, here at Houston Life, we like to keep things light and fun. We follow like the Joan Rivers school of thought, which is that, okay, this happened and it's okay to laugh about it and poke fun sure. of it. And if you've been reading any of these comments on social media, guys, 
Holy cow, it's so funny. Check this out. So those homes, those are the seven painted ladies. That's yeah. what they're called in San mm -hmm. Francisco. And that was, of course, the famous opening scene in Full House. And apparently someone on Twitter is saying that that's Aunt Becky's last that's known, known whereabouts. whereabouts. Yes, I've also seen that people are saying this is her, this is her second worst thing she's done, second to Fuller House. Oh, yeah, stuff like that. I liked Fuller House. Did you? You, you didn't? <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, it was so good. Oh. On her way to bail out Aunt Becky, Becky. also a shot from the opening scene. And, you know, someone, uh, a, a lot of people were retweeting a, a tweet that Felicity Huffman mm -hmm. created, like, a couple years ago. Okay. Essentially asking people for back-to-school hacks. Oh, gosh. The World Wide Web will never let you forget. I know. It's all, it's all coming back. And, of course, the comments on that are, you know, step one, feed your kids. Step two, hire someone to take their tests <laughs> for them and cheat their way through the process. And I, I really do feel bad for their kids, though, throughout this entire process because, you know, they don't look so great. And I also think that they're not, you know, you want your kid to go to the, the school that's right for them. And, like, uh, feeding absolutely. your way through. Like, imagine on the first day of school if you know you've cheated your way through and you're like, oh, wait. I made it into the school, now what do I do? Yeah, or if your parents just paid and you had no idea, and then now you have a target on your back amongst all your peers, I mean, that, that doesn't help you either. That's yeah. got to be so tough. You know, you really got to feel for the kids that, that didn't know. Well, and we, um, when you were in school, y your parents didn't pay to get you into school, as you've established. <laughs> No. <laughs> Most parents don't, right? <laughs> Mine couldn't afford to, even if we wanted to. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Um, but you no. were, um, we, last week when we had you on our show, you had mentioned that you were pre-med pre in college. Yes. And then you were like, forget about that. I, I know, TV. I know. Talk about years wasted. But really, it wasn't years wasted because, you know, you go and you take chem and biology. And I went to a, a liberal arts school. I was very lucky to go to a liberal arts school. It was a small school. Um, and, you know, I, I, you, you learn a lot from classes that you don't take as well. That's you know, true. But yes, yeah, so I look back and I'm like, man, what, what if I wouldn't? What if I would have went to a journalism school? But you know what? I am sitting here right now with you, fine people, and you know, life happens as it should. So. Well, you know what? If our show were still in the mall, you might not be saying that. <laughs> Just saying. Sorry. Do I joke about the mall too much? I really don't mean I to. I feel be like so I've heard rude. you say it a few times. I know. Since I, I've been I here. need to stop saying it. Okay. <laughs> so we do something called rapid fire here at I'm Houston ready. Life. I'm ready. And uh, <laughs> as we're getting to know you even more, you got to answer these. First thing that comes to mind, Christine. All right, okay. I need some more coffee for this. Here we go. We've got a one minute time timer. Okay, okay. No coffee in the studio. Okay. I'm sorry to say that. Here we go. Coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> okay. Mountains or beach? Oh. Mountains. Okay, Beach? running running or swimming? Running. Says the triathlete. Dream vacation. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, there you, you know, you I are mean, a honestly, sport. Yes. Well, you went Everywhere. to Iceland last year. That yeah. was pretty cool. Most embarrassing moment. Keep it quick. Probably tripping over something daily. I mean that but I'm not embarrassed by it anymore. No wonder you and Brandon get along so well. <laughs> if you could do any other career, what would it be? I'd probably just be an adventurer. Oh, okay. You know, I just would go and be one of those people that just... A model for L.L. Bean yeah. posing in the mountains. <laughs> exactly. Last Halloween costume. Superwoman. Oh, that's a good one. Favorite color? Blue. 20 seconds left. Biggest weakness? Sleep. <laughs> Last song downloaded? It's been a while. I don't know. <laughs> she hates music. Hiking boots or heels? I'm kidding. <laughs> Both. Favorite emoji? The dancing emoji. Oh, right. All you need is a red dress. You made it in under a minute. That was pretty good. I feel like I really didn't do well with that. And thanks thank to all these them. invisible people applauding. <laughs> oh, there we go. We, well, with some real I applause. I am such a nerd. Oh, bless you guys. That was amazing. You know, well, we're going to have fun. So it's, a, it's an hour show. So yes. we've just gotten it's started, Christine. It's a marathon, Christine. not a sprint. Okay. That is absolutely true. And still to come on today's show, you know, after a long day, who wants to get home and spend all this time in the kitchen preparing and then ultimately cleaning up yeah. all these messy dishes? Not yeah. me. Mm -mm. So today we have one pan dinners. They're an easy way to cut down on the cleanup time. Love this. Without sacrifice the flavors. We've got three easy recipes, and I can smell them already. They smell delicious. It does smell delicious, yes. Plus, is the unpredictable weather taking a toll on your hair? I yes. Think, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. If you're looking for a quick way to restore moisture, skip the salon, and head to the pantry. We're showing you how to create DIY hair masks using items that you probably already have at home. Wait, like eggs and stuff? Apparently, like okay. bananas. I'm very oils? curious ah. about this segment. Okay, but coming up next, after getting the well-deserved golden buzzer, folks, on America's Got Talent, the champions, Houston based singer Kechi Okuchi is performing right here in our studio. This is such a big deal. Huge deal. And if you don't know Kechi's story, 
where have you been? She has been through all kinds of uh, things in her life. Yes. We'll discuss that a little so more. So inspiring and beautiful and her voice is out of this world. Yeah, well, we're gonna chat with her and she's also going to perform coming up right after this. To think of starting over. She is not only an incredible singer, but also a burn survivor, advocate, and motiv motivational speaker. We're so glad to have her in our studio after she became a finalist on America's Got Talent, the champions. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you guys for having me. <laughs> that moment, I mean, really, my, I still have the chills. Yeah. And what was going through your mind, or w was it so overwhelming that it's kind of hard to remember? It's incredibly incredibly overwhelming that moment you know um, and I remember every single thing about it because I did not expect any of that you know he, before that he had said that he didn't quite like my performance so I was like already prepared to like start packing my bags and going home and then he like reaches across and like he moves like in slow motion in my head and I just almost couldn't believe even as the confetti was like flying around me I couldn't believe it was happening it was just surreal honestly the best one of the best moments of my life sincerely and wow. we're watching the video we're looking back on it and we're getting the chills when you look back on it do you still feel yep. the same emotions oh, yeah. similar emotions very going, similar oh my gosh. very similar um i feel the same like i get the same goosebumps i because i'm always transported right back to how i felt just seeing him do that like in like live in person and it's just always like Oh my God, that actually happened, you know? Like, whenever I see it on TV, it's like, wow, that was actually a thing that happened. You it know? actually so. happened. It's better <laughs> than reading words like in the pages of a journal. You have this video the to video. look back on. Exactly. You're 29 now, Ketchy? Yes, I am. Okay, so <laughs> you have lived quite a life. And for people who don't know your story, it was 2005 when you were in that awful plane crash. Correct. In terms of your life, you know, trajectory, yes. you've accomplished so much oh, since oh. that horrible accident. Oh my gosh. What is the next <laughs> 10 years gonna bring? Because you're about to enter your 30s. Yes, I am. Um, so I'm really hoping that uh, I can establish myself as much as possible with, um, like, in the music industry and um, in the just speaking industry as well, because I do love doing both. I think what AGT did, the biggest gift I got from the show was the exposure that I received from it, where people were more um, aware of my story, my journey as a burn survivor, and my, bo my voice, of course. So um, I love the idea of having an opportunity to establish a music career. I never thought I would ever be able to say that ever but um here we are today so it's really an amazing journey so far and i'm really looking forward to what the next few years have for me uh, it's just it's <laughs> just so wonderful to talk to you and when we hear you sing i mean it's it's like a voice of an angel oh that's so sweet doubt. thank so you it's certainly a pleasure to have you here <laughs> and catchy's first single don't you dare is available to download on all music platforms yes. but she will perform it now for us live if you want to make it out your way over there we'd yes. love to hear you sing girl thank you guys oh, yes. for such a treat <laughs> yes. and i mean i I know our stage doesn't Thank quite you. have as many sparkles <laughs> as the stage in Los Angeles, but you are always welcome here, catchy. Thank you. to pull out of this fight but don't you dare you've had more than your share of heartaches you're afraid of falling one more time and the voices that you hear say to listen to you. 
A golden voice, well deserving uh, of that golden buzzer. Thank Kichio you. Kuchi, it's great to see you. Come back and see us anytime. Anytime. Thank Hearing you guys so much. Hearing it in person so is like just so, so much more impactful too wow, than it already you. was. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Oh, of course, great my pleasure. Great to have a front row seat. And if you'd like to connect with Ketchy, just check out the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Yes, again, thank you so much, Ketchy. Coming up after the break, does your hair need a little TLC DIY mask to treat dry, brittle strands? Coming up, that's coming up next. Okay, so we've already mentioned hair issues in Houston, and if the current weather has your hair feeling, I don't know, less than moisturized, yeah. skip the expensive salon products and pull together items you might already have in your kitchen. Yeah, here with simple DIY hair masks that will naturally revive damaged hair is lifestyle blogger Carissa Stevens. Thanks so much for being here. I'm like desperate oh. for help, so I'm just so glad that you're here. I am so excited to be here. I love talking hair. I can talk hair all day. There we go. And so the masks we have today, they're quick and easy DIY hair masks. You probably have the ingredients at your house already in your kitchen cabinet. They're super inexpensive and super easy. So we're just gonna moisturize and learn how to retain length and learn how to strengthen our hair just with these easy steps. Okay, yeah. perfect. I thought this was a cooking segment <laughs> first. Like, like, it is lunchtime. It looks like Let's talk about the avocados. I hope yeah. my mom is watching this too because she has done avocados in her hair. She looks like a monster, <laughs> but she has great hair. <laughs> it is a beauty secret and age old. You know, oftentimes when we think about nourishing our skin and our hair, we think about what we eat. And oftentimes you can use the same foods that nourish our skin and hair on the inside on the actual hair. So the avocado is amazing. So you can start by just scooping just that into scoop, the bowl. Just scoop it right out. Oh, yeah, scoop it into the bowl. And are you using a whole avocado here then? Both halves of it? Yes, you can use a whole avocado. Okay. Um, preferably, you want to get a pretty ripened one. Hopefully, that yeah. one's a soft enough for you. And it's okay if there are a couple brown spots because oh, you're absolutely. not going to be eating it. It's just going in your hair. Well, exactly. You, you could just make some guacamole and just snack <laughs> and do that. You know, like, it's a, all it's the goodness. Kill all the birds <laughs> with onions one onions in your hair, yeah. <laughs> not sans onions. Here. So you're going to kill all the birds with one stone with this amazing mask. Uh, okay. So we're going to mash that avocado nice and... Pureed style. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing, my, doing best. my best. You're doing a great job. <laughs> and then we're going to add our oils. Okay, both so, of them? Yes. So this is an olive oil. So you're okay. going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. You're going to pour that in. That's also going to help you get that nice consistency with the avocado. Okay. okay. 
Um, and then you're gonna add your honey Ooh. last. Oh, of, yeah. I feel like this wouldn't come out of my hair. <laughs> so it's really important that we blend all of our ingredients okay. very well. You can use a food processor. How are you doing, Derek? <laughs> you can use a food Mixing processor. It, and is that better to use like a mixer or some sort of processor to ensure that it's a smooth blend? I definitely would advise. For okay. TV purposes, okay. today we're using spoons. And the chunks, yeah, actually, I can see yeah. how the chunks would pose a problem. Yeah. They could fall out. And I actually did this mask this week, so um, it worked well. My hair was super soft. Your hair does it's look so very shiny. nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank right. you. But what's the whole, what's this uh, shower cap about? You, so you yes. put it on and then leave it? So this is a it? plastic processing cap. You can get it from anywhere, um, dollar store, Walmart, grocery Hotel store. rooms. <laughs> right. Um, but you just put this on and this causes a greenhouse effect. That's what I like to call it. The greenhouse okay. effect is when you put the mask on your hair and then you apply the plastic processing cap, the natural heat from your body, it kind of gets trapped into the cap and it actually helps the mask work better. For it how long? For about 30 minutes. It just helps the mask really infuse in your hair strands and really give you that nice moisturized four to five hair. You could run some errands, go to the exactly. grocery store, Christine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do it all the time. I put my plastic processing cap on. I throw a beanie Get on. Get stuff done. And I keep it moving, okay? I'm a busy mom. Oh, I don't I have time. <laughs> I love her. What if like chunks of so avocado good. are falling out of your beanie while you're at the store? People love avocado, so they'd be like, oh girl, I hear you. Well, you've processed it well hopefully by that time, so hopefully that's not your issue. Okay, okay. so strengthening and growing. Obviously, people want to have strong hair because that yeah. eliminates breakage, exactly. right? Exactly, and it helps with length retention, most importantly. Lots of women, especially those with very highly textured hair like mine, very kinky, coily hair, length retention is a big deal. And for all women of all hair textures, yeah. so this next mask is going to really speak to how do we strengthen our hair? How do we keep our hair from falling out when we're taking those styling tools and the yeah. combs and things through our hair? It's becoming brutal. Yeah. Exactly. So this mask is going to really help strengthen. What better source of protein than the egg? So we're going to okay. take two eggs. All right. Oh, we're going to wow. crack those and break those into the bowl. Try not to make a total mess here. <laughs> Who's had breakfast He's today? over there. Actually, I skipped <laughs> breakfast. My, my mind just sort of zoned out to how hungry I am. He's that like, looks I delicious. Got, I got avocados, I got eggs. Yes. So two eggs, and then you've got the mayo. Yes, we've got the mayo. Scooping the mayo out all that mayo? It's going to give you that nice, creamy texture in your mask. It's going to go ahead and blend well with those eggs. I've got the whisk there for okay, you, yeah. if that's a little bit easier for the eggs. And then this is olive oil and tea tree oil? Olive oil and tea tree oil. So that same nourishing olive oil, but the tea tree oil is actually a natural antiseptic. Okay. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna really heal the hair from the scalp. Okay. Healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp, and so you want that tea tree oil to be in there, and that's just gonna help you know, make sure that you have healthy hair from the root to the tip. About how much are we using in there? You know, wing it. I just pour it on. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually heavy handed. For purposes of this recipe, I would go ahead and say a tablespoon okay. of oil. And that looks great. I mean, it, it looks, great yeah, job. it looks. It's kind okay. of weird though. It's like kind of creamy. If you've never done a mask like this, it would feel weird to like put scrambled eggs in your hair. It would. And speaking yeah. of which, I'm glad you said scrambled egg. We want to make sure that when we're apl applying these masks that we do it evenly section by section. One thing you can do is just, you know, put your hair in quadrants. I usually use four sections. Mm -hmm. And then with this mask, you're going to apply it to the hands and then you're just going to use the flat hands on the hair to root give to it a nice tip. even coat on the roots of the tip. Okay. Um, and as we work on this next one, mm -hmm. real quick also, how frequently should you be doing this and how long should you be leaving these masks You should leave in? these masks in, I would say give it 30 minutes. If you have okay. more time to spare, that's awesome. Okay. So then we're gonna take this banana. and whole thing? This is the last mask. Yes, we're gonna do the whole banana. Okay. And this mask is really about the smooth and the shine, right? This is all about the smooth and the shine. Who knew bananas? Exactly, so we've talked about moisturizing our hair. We've talked okay. about strengthening our hair. I wanted to mention with the, the egg, <laughs> egg mask, make sure you're rinsing it out with lukewarm or cool water. If you rinse your mask out with hot water, you're going to have scrambled eggs in your hair. Okay. So with this third <laughs> mask. That sounds delicious. So with the smooth and shine mask, we've got the, uh, the vitamin E from the banana. We're going to add the honey. So this is honey going in here. Okay. Um, again, honey is a natural emollient. It's also um, wonderful to help you retain moisture. The vitamin E from the banana, also vitamin C, which helps retain your hair's life cycle, which then, also contributes to length. We're just about out of time, but this is coconut, coconut oil, right? Coconut yeah. oil, which oh, I love. Nice. It is gonna make your hair nice and shiny. It also has a protein element to really help strengthen the hair as well. So just whip it up. Mm -hmm. Apply it in sections, and suddenly your hair is super shiny. It's fabulous. This is great, but we've well, just we're just getting started. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. this is what we do on Saturday.
You're not going to see good. me all Saturday. It's spring break. <laughs> you might have a little extra time. This is a perfect time perfect. to do your mask. Carissa, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and stick around because Carissa will be joining us once again with ways to style natural hair without using any heat. Yeah, there That's we right. go. All this right. It's going to be fun. Yeah, but first, how this adorable kitten was rescued from a drainage pipe. We're sharing this amazing animal tale coming up after the break. Look at the sweet face. Aww. Today's Amazing Animal Tale is brought to you by the Houston SPCA. Whether it's the recent rainy weather or just an unfortunate coincidence, the Houston SPCA's 24-hour rescue ambulance has been saving a lot of animals from drainage pipes recently. The latest beneficiary of this important service was Melanie, a tiny little six-week-old kitten. The rescue technician had set a humane trap for Melanie, but overnight she fell even farther down into the drain. The next morning, another technician spent about 30 minutes with a wildlife net on a long pole before she finally retrieved little Melanie and brought her to safety. Kittens and puppies have to be at least eight weeks old before they can be adopted, so the affectionate Calico will spend a few weeks in a loving foster home while she grows a little bigger. If you'd like more information, you can log on to HoustonSBCA.org. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. We've been chatting about hair today, and why not embrace your natural hair this spring with styles that our expert says take only 10 minutes to achieve. 10 minutes. I love that. We're back with lifestyle blogger Carissa Stevens. She's sharing everyday hairdos that require zero heat, and we know that heat really can do a number on your hair, so it this can. is awesome. And the fact that they're under 10 minutes, girl. Exactly. Again, I'm all about the convenient lifestyle. On my blog, I talk about quick and easy ways to stay beautiful. We have my gorgeous models here. This is Nakia. Hi, Nakia. Hi, Nakia. <laughs> Nakia with the great hair, by the yeah, way. No what kidding. a cool style. Yeah, so Nakia is all natural. And natural for us just means we don't have any chemicals on our hair. That's our hair awesome. is not pro chemically processed. So Nakia has beautiful mini twists. They're so bouncy. And they're also protective. I would call this a protective style. The cool thing about protective styles are she can put this in so many different styles. She can pin them to the side, which I'll show you how quick and easy it actually is. Taking these gorgeous gold bobby pins. You can have fun, you know, use accessories. And has Nakia been using some of these like homemade masks you just taught us? Because you have beautiful, like shiny hair it's so there. So shiny. It's so they all do, shiny. Yeah. And it's so soft. Touch her hair and just like I love the I would play with these all day. I would is it okay if we touch, touch her hair? We have yeah. permission to touch her hair today. Oh, that is <laughs> cool. <today. Thank> <laughs> I love the spring action in yeah. that. Yes. That is so great. Yes, and so she's been using <clears throat> products like Shea Butter. Shea Butter is going to really help um, give you that sealed moisture um, after a nice shampoo. And I'm just going to give her a nice little pin style. I love the half pinned up, yeah. Exactly. But how are you creating the twist to begin, though? I mean, how, how do you start with this yes. hairstyle? So I'm just going to show you how easy it actually is. Oh, awesome. So using just a small section like this, we're going to start from the ends, I'm sorry, the roots of her hair. So you're just uh, dividing that section in two. Yes, and exactly. So we're going to take the section, split it into two. This is called a two-strand twist. Okay. And tauntly, I'm, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to twist it all the way down to the ends. And to do the entire head, I mean, that would take quite Hours. some time, right? Yeah, but once, so you're, once your hair is in the twist, correct. then you can easily create a bunch yeah. of other styles. Exactly. So the twists themselves don't take 10 minutes, but once you've done the work and done your twist, um, and you can take your time, you know, doing them, but once they're done, it only takes less than it's five like minutes. It's like a short-term pain, long-term gain kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. That looks awesome. I love it. So all the way to the ends, we'll take a little extra product. Again, I recommend Shea Butter. So, and how do you apply the shea butter? You apply it to the entire, entire twist? So, it's our, her hair's already well moisturized, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of shea butter, and I'm gonna twirl it on the ends. Just on the ends, okay. And I'm gonna make sure that her ends are sealed. Okay, got it. So I that helps nice keep the twirl. twist together then. Yeah, because exactly. there's nothing on the end that's holding it together. Correct. Got it. The hair kind of curls up on itself, and then it's being held. Just and like that. Look at that bounce back. I love it. <laughs> Very cool natural yes. look. Gorgeous. Okay. And Amber over here in the beautiful yellow blouse. Yes, Amber. And Amber is actually my brand partner. We have a YouTube channel, Naturally GG. So Amber knows all about natural hair as well. And she's displaying a Bantu knot out. Um, and so to achieve her hair today, she put Bantu knots, and I'll show you exactly what a Bantu knot is. Okay. <laughs> because... Like, tell us more. 
Because I'm super visual. If you're anything like me, then you'll want to know what a Bantu knot is. I'm going to make sure her hair is well moisturized. And water is the solvent of life. So naturally, we want to make sure we have water in our hair. Um, and then I'm just going to start from the ends, from the roots, and I'm going to twist all the way to the end. So you're twisting that entire section together. I am. Okay. It's, it's almost, it looks like a rope, right? Would you say it looks like a rope? Mm -hmm. So to the ends, you can use a little bit of extra product. For Amber, I'm just going to use a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is yeah, the best. Yeah, we love that, yeah. You put it on your Should skin, have it home you put it in your yeah. hair. It was in our mask, right? And coconut oil is amazing because it also gives that nice sheen to the hair. So once the hair is kind of in this rope form, then I'm going to twist it around, going towards the front, and it wraps around, creating what looks like a knot. Now this That's hairstyle, cool. okay. yeah, and Bantu actually comes from a country in Africa, the Bantu region, and so that's where it kind of gets its name from. Very cool. I love and then that you can just do one one little section to completely change changes the changes look. the style. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the Bantu looks like, and but it stays by itself. It stays by itself. If your Bantu is having a hard time staying, you can also fortify with bobby pins, making sure it's not going anywhere. You can sleep great. overnight in Bantu knots. Take your Bantu knots out in the morning. Once you've done your whole head like this one here, then you can achieve effortless, heatless, beachless curl. Beach it looks curl. awesome. Love we it. only have about a minute left. Let's yeah. move to Devon because he's got some great curls here. Yes, Devon has great curls. And so guys have a lot of the same hair concerns that women have as well. Um, and so for Devon, we were just focusing on moist moisturizing his hair. I'm using a curling product. This is just the Curl Enhancing product. Product. You can use anything um, that'll help enhance your curls. Those and curls I'm are so gonna awesome. I'm going to give him a finger coil. So I'm just taking the hair, much like how you saw me work their ends, except I'm going to just finger coil it all the way to the ends, making sure it's well moisturized. When it dry, it kind of has that nice spring back action. And then we'll finish with the light oil. What kind of oil is that? So this is a sweet almond oil. I love it because it's nice and light. And it smells they good, smell too. They smell good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really good. Can I touch your hair? Is that a <laughs> It smells great on set right take, now. Take advantage while I can. It looks it's great. They all have beautiful hair. Carissa, thank you so much, and thanks to all of our lovely models. Yes, you all look thank great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. And to keep up with Carissa, just visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website. All right, and still ahead on Houston Life, how to get a cash offer on your home in, get this, less than 24 hours. We're going to tell you about a brand new way to sell your home right after this. Welcome back. Selling a house can be a huge headache that can affect the entire family, but there's a whole new way that can save you time and money. It's called OfferPad, and those who have used it say it is totally changing the industry. Courtney and I recently sat down with OfferPad to see just how it works. We'd like to welcome Courtney Reed, Communication Director with OfferPad. Welcome Hi. to Houston Life. Hi, thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about OfferPad, exactly how this works. We kind of did the intro, yeah. no real estate agent, so if you're thinking about selling, this might be a really good option for a lot of people. Right. So what we've tried to do is take out of all of the stress, the friction, the uncertainty of when you go to sell your house, and we take on a lot of those responsibilities ourselves. Well, so, such as, sorry to jump in. <laughs> So this, you're saying too, you're not buying home, you're not in the business of flipping homes. Correct. This is something like your home still needs to be in relatively Correct. good condition. We're not looking to buy distressed homes. That's not our business model. Our model is to give a new solution, a different experience of selling and buying a house. And then we'll take on those responsibilities. But we want to make sure the homes that, the, those are quality homes because the same seller that is selling us a home are buyers. And we want to make sure those buyers are getting quality properties as well. Absolutely. A lot of people may worry about listing a house that maybe they need to renovate first or they right. list it and then it sits on the market for months and they don't know what to yeah. do. You guys take away a lot of those headaches. We do. It's so stressful not knowing when your house is going to close. Is yeah. the buyer's funding going to fall through? What negotiations? Is it going to sit on the market for you know, 20 days or seven months, right. all of that is gone if you select offer pad. We take on all of that. So if the house sits on the, the market for six months, that's our responsibility because you've already moved on to your new house. Oh, that's amazing. And we should break down how it all works because yeah. the way I understand it is people answer very simple questions about their homes, like right. what's the square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, upload some pictures. Right. And then once all that info is sent to you, then what? So we just launched in Houston yesterday, so we're super excited about that. Yes. Brand new. We've already received great feedback, um, and the process is very simple. So you go to our website, OfferPad.com, type in your property address, and tell us information about your house. So what are you proud of? What upgrades have you done? But also let us know what needs work, because then that way we can make sure that we're taking that into consideration yeah. and providing you a very accurate offer on the house. 
After you've submitted your information, give us 24 hours and we're going to email you a cash offer. If it's something that sounds like you're interested, you want to go down that path. Within 24 hours? Within 24 yeah. hours, yeah. So okay. you can you can know within 24 hours what we want to buy your house for. And this is a non, you're not obligated. Once you kind no. of go through that, you see the offer and you're kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Absolutely. And, you're yeah. absolutely accurate. So when you uh, submit your information online, you know, with a 24-hour offer, no obligation. It's free. Yes, you're not, you know, bound into anything. You really are just trying to get an accurate offer from us within 24 hours. After you receive that offer, one of the biggest benefits that people love is you select your closing date. So if you need to move in two weeks, tell us, done. If you need to move in three months, done. If you need to change your closing date, let's say the, your, uh, your dream house that you buy, you know, now is going to be closing a little bit later, tell us. So that way you don't have to get kicked out of your house and, and you know, go stay in the middle ground. Oh, right, where wow. your stuff's in storage yeah. or you're living with in-laws or friends while your new house is ready. And we the offer stays that. the same? And the offer stays the same. Okay, yes. what if what if I get a cash offer in that 24-hour period and I say, okay, done, I want to do this. I, I want to move next week. Right. How does that work? So we do need a little bit of time to make <laughs> it happen because we still have a lot of the, you know, the same processes, right. the paperwork on the back end. But if you get an offer today and um, you tell us, I want to move in about 12, 13 days, then that's it. We'll get moving on the paperwork and we'll get you all closed up on that day. You um, will close. We actually have something really cool too where you can actually stay in the house. It's an ex called an extended stay. We let you stay in the house for a couple days even after closing. So you're not like rushed to get all of your stuff out of the house and that's freaking it. out and trying to pass over the keys in the same day. Um, we'll let you have a couple days in there. Um, and one cool thing that we haven't talked about at all is that we actually pay for your movers too. So if you're moving locally and you say, I want to close in 13 days, we'll make sure those movers oh are going gosh. to be there in 13 days and that cost is now on us. Wow. I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you guys do all the paperwork. We yeah. saw the other benefits there. Yeah. Move up to three days after closing, dedicated support, handle all the pa paperwork, and as you said, you pick the closing date. Right, right. And we've been in business for about four years now, so we're brand new to Houston, but we are not new to real estate. Our our CEO, our founders, you know, they have over a decade each of real estate experience. Most of them were traditional real estate agents and saw that the whatever they could do for their clients was still not enough to take away the uncertainty and the peace of mind and people falling through and having to get kicked out of your house for open houses all weekend yeah. and what am I supposed to do with my pets they couldn't solve that so they came up with a solution to offer pad where we are able to eliminate a lot and of in that. 86 cities around the Houston metro area Correct. I also think realtors are not gonna like this news because I mean you, you we've both bought and sold a few houses oh, yeah and it can be it can be a headache so right. do you think this is gonna be like the future so you know it's very interesting we get asked that a lot and first you have to understand is that we don't purchase all homes and we're not available in all markets so there's there's still going to be a lot of room for real estate agents. Um, you know, we're just slowly coming in to different cities and stuff. And we might not be a solution that everyone is comfortable with right away. You know, it's right. new. You're talking about the largest financial asset in your name. So um, we work with agents every single day. So you can still use an agent with OfferPad. So, you know, know that. If you feel comfortable selling your house to OfferPad and still want your agent involved, 100% okay. So streamlined. Yeah. Very, very interesting. By the way, go online and request your purchase offer today at OfferPad.com. Again, it is free and there is no obligation to get that. It's OfferPad.com. I think I'm going to do it. I'm selling my house, folks. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here. No, I'm kidding. But when I'm ready to, I'll check you guys yeah. out. Thanks so much, Courtney. Yeah, thank you. And when we come back, want to get dinner on the table without spending hours in the kitchen? From chicken to veggies to a Cajun lobster bake, one pan dinner as you can prepare in not much time. We'll be right back. What if you could cook a delicious meal every night and completely avoid doing the dishes? For less cleanup and more time with family and friends, one pan dinners are the way to go. These look so good. Cookbook author and mom of two, Leanne Chetanier, is here with three easy recipes that anybody can make at home. And as soon as I walked into the Houston Life studio, I was like, oh, this smells so That's good. Great. doing something good here. Yeah. Yeah, yes. so this is, this is meant to be to really eliminate the time that you're spending with prep, more time with the family yeah. that are delicious. Yes, yeah, and easy cleanup too. Yes. So uh, it's a winning situation. So I have three of my favorites. Um, what I love about these is it all goes on one pan. You stick it in the oven and it's done and done. And you say the cleanup can be made even easier if you line the pans with yeah. a parchment paper. That's my favorite yeah. trick. So just put a piece of parchment down, put everything on top and into the oven. 
And then when you're done, you just wrap it up and everyone toss eats, it. and then yeah, yep. just toss it. Yeah, oh, that's so easy. I so love that. easy. Let's start with this dish. So this is a Cajun lobster bake, which Yum. will be very popular here in Houston. We have so many Cajun transplants yeah. here. Yeah. Um, so with this one, what's great is it's really great for entertaining because it's so beautiful when it's finished um, and it's a minimal ingredient. So we have lobster, shrimp, potatoes, corn, and andouille sausage for a little spice. All right. Um, so if you guys want to mix up the what we're going to toss it in, oh, okay. um, we have a little bit of butter. So the butter's already melted in this ramekin? Yes. Okay. okay. And then we have um, Cajun seasoning, salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. So this goes in Just right, right in here to okay. the butter. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze that half of lemon juice in there too. Yeah. Okay. And one of the questions I had was, okay, so how do you know that they all take the same amount of time to cook? Oh, good yes. question. You know, because sometimes yep. the lobster takes longer than the vegetables or... Right. or um, so that's a good question. So I usually try to pair the protein and the vegetable together based upon cook time. Mm -hmm. In this instance, these potatoes actually get parboiled before you put them on the pan. So they're, oh, okay. they're just a little bit cooked so that they cook at the same rate as the lobster. Because this is only going to take about 15 to 18 minutes Great. for completion. So now that we're we have this gonna, all mixed together, yep, I'm, just am gonna, I just dumping it on? You can dump it on. And actually what I do is I put it on the pan and then I mix it. So it's okay. like oh. even so easier. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole thing goes on. You're not even taking time to place them carefully. No, because nope, you're just, just going like, to toss it and then oh. it's just going to go in the oven. So that that's is what genius. I like to do. Yep. Yeah. And then you can just mix it up. And I love the tip that's that so the, the vegetables are cooking the same amount of time that the meat is because yes. obviously you don't want to have overcooked or undercooked anything. On well, the yeah, pan. half yes. burned and then half undercooked. Yeah, the, this makes it super easy. Yeah, super easy. So that goes in the oven at 425, 15 to 18 minutes until your lobster shells turn pink and you take it out. Look okay, at that finished product. Yeah. I can't believe how fast that is, too. 15 to 18 yeah. minutes. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so on to our chicken and veggies now. Yeah, and this is a dish that we have weekly. We love it. Um, you can swap out the breast and the thighs. You can swap whatever other protein, a fish in here, like mm -hmm. whatever you want. Again, matching the, the vegetables and the protein. So I love to do root vegetables here. Okay. Butternut squash is great. Um, whatever you want to do. I have just potatoes and carrots and onion. And we're go going to... Um, just do salt and pepper and a little bit of oil over this. Should I put it all together? If you want to season the chicken uh, chicken thighs first, okay, that's usually what I like to do. And then I just toss the um, the vegetables with the oil and the salt and pepper. And also. the root vegetables, so they, this tends to take a little bit longer to cook. Yeah, correct? so this takes 45 minutes from start to finish, and you're going to get really crispy chicken thighs and super tender caramelized veggies. It's really delicious. Okay. And then are we brushing on this oil here? Um, we're going to actually just toss just the vegetables. I'm not going to put oil on the chicken breast because the skin is going to be enough fat there. And then we're just going to do some fresh thyme. Okay, and what was this? Um, that is going to go on the very end. So we're going to we're going to the last two minutes of cooking. You're going to switch your oven to broil. Okay. And then you're going to brush a little bit of maple syrup just right on top just of right it. Just right onto the chicken yep. breast. And then it's going to caramelize, and it's going to be just a little bit of sweetness. It's just perfect. All right. So you're going to so, toss these vegetables yep, with the oil. Gonna, yep. We're going to toss it up, and then we're just going to put it. I like to just nestle the, this is kind of one I don't dump because I like to nestle the uh, I was expecting you just dump the whole thing on well, like you did last time. The presentation is so beautiful, know, right? it's just okay. like boom. But this one I was afraid to kind of dump because I thought it might go This is why I love her. You know? Here kids, here's dinner. Yeah. yeah. Right? This looks pretty enough as it is. Okay, last but not least, yeah. Yeah. that looks gorgeous yep. by the way, all those vegetables. Yeah, the beef fajitas. Last. All right, so this is so a really good. easy way to do fajitas. This is great for a party. I have chili powder, cumin, salt, pepper, and oregano into some lime juice with a little oil. Oil? Lime juice. All yeah. You, yeah, this is going to tenderize your meat. You're going to pour it into a Ziploc bag. Do 30-minute marinade. Okay. And then we're just going to put our veggies onto the pan. And we're going to place the meat on top. And again, into the oven for 25 minutes. And you have fajitas. You can top it with salsa, cilantro, avocado, sour cream, whatever your favorite fajita toppings are. And the meats you said would just go right yeah, on top. Yeah, right of on that. top. Or if you and don't then, want meat, because sometimes I don't, I'm yeah. not really a, a yeah. meat eater, but yeah, you can do this Any just way you with want. the portobello Any mushroom. Yeah, and there that's the go. thing. It's like whatever you have in your fridge, you can make this work. Leanne Chitanier, it's great to yeah. see you. We got to leave it there. Thank you for having yes, me. Thank you. And again, recipes on our website. Uh, visit HoustonLife.tv. Again, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, lunchtime, folks. After the break, a look at what's happening on tomorrow's show. Don't go away. It looks great. Yeah. I love all right, coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, it's not a microwave, not a toaster, it's an air fryer. Ooh. The four surprising foods that you can make using this trendy cooking gadget. I've never heard of this. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. I don't have one, but I'm curious. Plus, who will be my next guest co-host 
While Courtney is out this week, Christine, I think you should be here every day. I, I would personally. love to be here. Okay, pick well, how me, about it? Me. <laughs> Houston Life, the four, five, the six, and the ten. You got a busy day, girl. I know, I know. We're happy to be here. Thanks so much for welcoming me to the show, too. We love having you. Thank you. you guys have a great day. We'll see you back tomorrow. We got it.